Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Phoenix Seat Set Paints Dewy Skin Demonstration and review. I really love this product. When I was working with Genesis, I used to mix my own dewy skin. I have worked with other dewy skin products and I have found that Phoenix is definitely the better replacement uh, for Genesis. I think that this uh, dewy skin is really nice. It enhances the first layer of skin texturing that I have that I do. And it bakes mostly matte, but with a really nice realistic sheen. So today I'm going to be working on the face and showing you how it works. So for the dewy skin, since I've already done a layer of texturing, I'm only going to add this in areas where a baby's skin is really dewy. Newborn babies have really dewy skin. If you have not seen part one of my skin texturing, go check that out. I like to layer these types of things on and then I'll go back on and do rashy layers, you know, dried skin, etc. And then I actually matte varnish my baby flat very last after the baby is complete. So in a couple of videos, I will matte my baby and show you how Phoenix matte varnish works. But for this video, I am just doing a demonstration of the dewy skin. And in my next video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own skin texturing stamps to add the uh, the, the dried skin effect because newborns have a combination skin. It's very dewy in some parts. It's very dried in others. Human skin is actually not matte. I know that's what looks fabulous in photographs, but realism is our skin has a sheen. And that's what I like to replicate on my dolls. I don't want my dolls to be shiny, but I do want them to have a sheen. So I like this brush. I'm going to use this brush to do all of my dewy skin because I'm only doing it in select areas. You can do it in all areas if you choose not to do the initial skin texture. You can do all of it with your dewy skin, but then you're going to want to definitely matte areas that you don't want so dewy. You want to keep it thin. I have used this um, on dolls entirely. When I was experimenting with it and I really loved the results. You notice that babies are really dewy on their forehead. And then, like I said, after I'm finished with hair painting and everything after baby is completely done being painted, I'm going to go on here and matte everywhere that I don't want so dewy. It's such so beautiful. So 
So to fray your brush like this, to, to achieve this effect, I just submerge it in boiling water and then just kind of slam it <laughs> on paper towels until it's frayed and then it stays pretty frayed. This is also going to serve as kind of like the base for that rashy skin that babies have on their cheeks. So I'll be applying the dewy skin to the face, ears, hands, feet. And chest, because I noticed when my son was born recently, he's a year old now, he was really dewy on his face, hands, the tops of his feet where the bottoms of his feet were pretty dried out and on his chest. But what's really good about this dewy skin too is that you can put it under, like on all the cheeks to actually form a lot of that baby rash and then you can just go over it with matte when you're done if you don't want it to be dewy or shiny. But what I really like about this uh, dewy skin is uh, it's actually pretty matte with a subtle sheen when it dries. Where like as, you know, Genesis brand dewy skin mediums, you know, like the iArt Reborn and other brands tend to be really shiny. And this is not... So pretty. Now this baby that I'm currently working on is actually a vampire, a vampire baby. And it is one of my first feed babies. Um, so it's a vampire that looks like they just uh, fed for the first time. So she will have like a little bit of blood mouth and stuff like that. So I'm not going to, she is a custom, so she's not, I won't be doing milk bumps and all of that stuff with her. I will do a separate video for things like milk bumps and baby acne and stuff eventually. I like for my vampires, for the most part, for their skin to kind of be iridescent or flawless or both. I still like them to be as realistic as possible though. Like a living, breathing, just born vampire baby. All right, I think that that looks very beautiful. I'm happy with what I've achieved with the face. I'm gonna give this baby a bake.
it's going to kind of blend that skin back. I'm going to give her a bake. If you have a new wave, um, you're going to do 265 for 10 minutes. I have a convection oven, so I'm going to bake at 275 for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to definitely bake this probably about three or four times before I move on to my next step of doll making, which will be adding more fine details, finishing touches, fangs, fingernails, hair painting, dried skin. When I get to the dried skin step, I'll come back and make a separate video about that on how I, how I achieve how I achieve that, but I really love it. Absolutely beautiful, that skin. The baby's had her first bake and I'm very happy with the results I got using the dewy skin medium. Absolutely beautiful. I'm definitely going to bake her another three or four more times. And then she's going to get a couple more areas of texture that I'll do in another video. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna show everybody how to make your own skin texturing stamps for the dried skin areas. Very happy with the Phoenix products. If you are interested in trying the Dewy Skin Medium, the link is in the description to this video. I highly recommend it. Now is the time to play around and experiment with product and have fun doing it. Very beautiful. I'd like to thank you for watching my video. I hope everybody has a fantastic day and be sure to subscribe for future videos. This channel is going to mostly be dedicated to product reviews and tutorials. Thank you.